Hey y'all, I'm Kat. My husband and I moved our family from the city to the country hills of Kentucky to build our homestead, now Keto Inspired. David always says, A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's exactly what we're doing on Keto Country Homestead. All right, our project, our fall project, the acorns are dropping and we are raising some food by gathering acorns for our pig pumpkin. And that's what this looks like. So we're out here underneath the oak tree here between my paint house where I paint my bows and one of my tool sheds. And me and the kids are just picking up acorns and collecting those because pumpkin loves them. They're really good for her and the chickens. Chickens, I don't know they like it that much, but pumpkin really does. Delicious acorns for pumpkin. Team Pig. Team Pig. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. Team Pig is something we tell ourselves regularly. We chant it, we shout it. It's a good reminder for us and for the kids to not throw scraps away. The pig needs a lot of food. And we want her to get nice and big and healthy and fat. And I'm gonna do my best to avoid buying feed. So we've been managing that pretty well by doing stuff like this. Um, bring in all of our scraps and we have uh, local friends church members and family members who are bringing us scraps as well so we're going to do our best for team pig, team pig! what are you stomping on buddy it was a bug oh You're doing such a great job. A Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Wow. Thank you, Jonathan. Good job. Now, Jonathan, you didn't want to be out here doing this, did you? No. Are you having fun now? Kind of. Good. Uh, when you didn't want to come outside, what did Daddy say? He said I could stay inside. Right. You could just sit inside. How, how long were you inside before you decided you wanted to come outside? Um, maybe one or two minutes. One or two minutes. You felt lonely and bored? Yeah. You wanted to be with, with Daddy and the rest of the kids? Yep. And nobody had to make you. Sometimes you have to make children do the right thing, and sometimes you just have to give them free will to make that choice on their own. And most of the time they will. They're pretty smart. A lot of bad ideas um, that need discipline oftentimes can correct themselves as soon as the child or anyone learns the consequences of their action. Should we collect the acorn tops for the pig? Pumpkin? Yeah, sure. It won't hurt anything. Okay. She either will eat it or she won't. And what happens if she doesn't eat it? So just probably leave it alone? It'll compost for next yeah. year's garden. Yeah. Or if we get another pig, it will eat it. Yeah, it might eat it, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe one pig likes acorns, another pig doesn't. Maybe this pig doesn't like acorn tops, but another pig might. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. He's thinking with his brain, just figuring things out. Trying to. It's not a bad idea. Maybe some pigs like something and other pigs don't. I don't know because I haven't raised any pigs before. Just this one so far. So um, maybe he's right. I don't know. What do you think? Will all pigs eat the same stuff or do some pigs have preferences? like people. I guess that's probably true. 
I know I really like cream cheese on my cheeseburger because it adds extra fat, um, and I love that. And Kathy likes it, but she's not crazy about it. She likes just cheddar. I found a big one. Let me see. Oh, you can make this into a whistle. Did you know that? No. You want to see me do it? You wanna try it? Hold your thumbs. Now blow in there. Yeah, keep trying. All right, everybody bring what you've got and go ahead and put it in the bucket. Whatever you got in your hand, Throw it in. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and get that bucket of acorns and take it to the pig. What do you say? Yeah! Look, they're excited. All right, give me one big scoop of acorns, please. I'm going to put one in there. All right, let's see if they like it. Pumpkin. Oh, they love it. Especially pumpkin. Do that again, Owen. insisted on getting underneath me to be my pillow. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to fight it. Oh, she likes that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You sweet girl. You just needed some snuggles. Yeah. And a kiss. <laughs> You can grunt and growl all you want. Besides that, me. 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 Besides that
You funny girl. I know. You're higher than ever. I'm gonna get fleas in my hair. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. Don't scratch me. I know. You will never beat my record. Look at that pretty girl. Ow! Ow! Ah! I think you bit my ponytail. Ugh. You have grass all over your back. I'm sure I do. It's Cat. She's back. So we got our chore done today to collect acorns. Oh. And we're going to collect a lot more. Oh. Sorry. She is very into the love today. She's wild. We collected our acorns uh -huh. and fed them to Pumpkin, which she oh, loved. Yeah. And the chickens were into it too, but Pumpkin really, really liked it. Ah, this dog is a rascal. And now we're just enjoying some free time. As always, peace and may God be with you. <laughs> <laughs>